17 classes a whole in Iowa. They've already got okay. four kids in-state committed. Yeah, I think it's an outstanding year. When you talk about the state of Iowa, I think it's going to be one of those years that people are going to be talking about in the future because there are a good number of them. I would imagine Iowa could be offering seven or eight, maybe even nine guys out of in-state, which is an unusual number, but there are so many good ones. And then you got Iowa State offering a lot of kids in-state, so it's going to make for an exciting year in the state, and I think Hawkeye fans are probably going to be excited because they're going to get the majority of the players. And it looks like a real good year, as always, for linemen. Uh, you never really run out of linemen in the state of Iowa. It looks like a good one. There's only one guy that's not here. It's, uh, he's sick today out of Bettendorf. But he's, uh, oh, Kallenberger, Mark yeah, Kallenberger. Good linebacker. Uh, and he has, an, he has an Iowa offer. Yeah, and he's a good ball player, too. So it looks like it's going to be an outstanding year in state. And I think uh, Hawkeye's coming off a great year on the field. Uh, probably benefit the most out of uh, having a real good year. Because if you look around the Midwest, it's a poor year in Chicago. It's a poor year in Minnesota, Wisconsin, Indiana. Uh, an average to a slightly above average in Michigan and an average year in Ohio. So the Midwest seems to be down as a whole. St. Louis is down. So I think that uh, it, it really benefits Iowa to have a real good year in state and then they can go for the skilled ball players uh, out of state. So it's not a coincidence that their in state kids are all mo linemen. For it the always most part. is that way. Yeah. It seems like there aren't many. Every now and then you get some pretty good skilled players, but for the most part, tight ends, linemen, linebackers are what comes out of Iowa. And then getting Epinesa, how much does that help them? Maybe. Well, the number one player in Illinois, and he's a national recruit, and it really helps him a lot because every school in the country would have been after uh, AJ. He's a talented ball player. I went down there to see him last year. I really liked his personality. He's a good kid, and he can play inside or outside as a defensive lineman. And he's a ball player that I think getting a marquee name like that could actually, even though he's downstate Illinois, but he is the number one player in the state of Illinois. It could really help them in state of Illinois. In a weak year, it's going to help them with some of the other ball players. You know, a couple of weeks before he committed, you said you thought Iowa is where he was going to end up well, because of his personality, partly. Yeah, plus his dad is from, you know, played sure. here, and his dad really has a passion for the Iowa Hawkeyes. I knew that talking about the ball. So I think that A.J., you know, I think his dad influenced him, which all fathers should. I think when you know, they seem to be a lot smarter than their 17, 18-year-old kids, and I think that really comes out to benefit them in the, long, in, in the long run. And it's really going to benefit Iowa because he is a big-time ball player and a guy that... Uh, is going to do nothing but improve. When you watch him on film, he looks like a babe in arms <laughs> at times and a guy that's going to improve with every game. One last question. Even when they were struggling, you've always spoke highly of this staff. What is it about Kirk Ferentz's staff you respect so it's, much? It's the best evaluating staff in the country. So even though when they go into Michigan, they can't beat Michigan, Michigan State head on, or they can't beat Ohio and Ohio, Ohio State and Ohio, they do a great job evaluating. That's what Michigan State was doing up until this past year or so, evaluating and then developing ball players. It's, it's a... It's a two-headed monster, and if you can get that monster under control, which Iowa obviously has when it comes to uh, evaluating and developing, you're going to have great success. And, Hayden, and to me, Kirk Ferentz is probably the best head coach in the country, and he's proven that on a year-to-year -year basis because talent-wise, they're well below Michigan and Ohio State when it comes to talent, but they can compete with them on the field because of coaching and the, their developmental program. They have a great, probably the best strength coach in the country also. So all that combined makes the Iowa Hawkeyes a formidable uh, opponent to anyone.